Hit Film Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to create a beautiful Starfield background for your Star Wars fan film in Hit Film Pro. All right, so I am going to create a new composite shot, and it can be my standard composite shot. Click OK. And what I'm going to do is we're going to create a new plane layer. So here, I'm going to make this plane white, and I can call it whatever I want, background, stars, etc., and so on. And I want to make it more of a perfect square plane, maybe 2048 by 2048. Click OK so you can see that that is actually a square around the, um, you know, normal camera view. All right. And what I'm going to do is under the particles and simulation folder, you will find atomic particle layer only effect. And I'm going to drag that onto my stars plane. All right, under the controls of that, and I can do that here, I can do that over here, I am going to bring open the fractal folder, and I'm going to make several changes. I'm going to take the displace strength and ramp it all the way up as high as it can go. You can see how it crinkles it up like a piece of paper. I'm going to leave the disperse strength at zero, but I'm going to take the size strength, and I'm going to go all the way up as high as it can go. The wavelength, I'm going to drop it down to 1% as low as it can go. The iterations, I'm going to go all the way up as high as it can go. And the speed, I want to drop down to zero because right now it's moving all over the place and we don't want that. So I will drop that down to zero. So now it's not going anywhere. So I don't know if you noticed this, but I went up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, basically across the, the thing. And that's how I did it. And it makes it pretty simple. Okay. Now, under Particle Appearance, we're going to take the Size Random slider and bring it all the way up, and the Opacity Random slider and bring it all the way up as well. Okay? And then, under Particle Placement, Number of Particles, we're going to tweak this until we get something that we like. I personally like 300 by 300 by 1. Okay? Now, again, at this point, if I were to add a camera to my scene and I were to start moving my camera around, it's not doing anything. Well, why not? Okay, that's because this is a two-dimensional plane and it does not affect the three-dimensional camera. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is under the 360 degree video, I'm going to find the 360 degree viewer and put that on my star's background. Opening this up, I'm going to change the scale to about 50%. And now I have a fairly lovely looking star's background. And if I rotate, you can see it looks really beautiful. If I rotate up and down, it's beautiful and even on the Z axis as well. Okay, now if I place the position at zero and I wanna create sort of a camera um, control system, what I would do is create a new layer, a point layer, make it three dimensional. And this is going to be the camera tilt. So I'm gonna call this tilt. And I'm also gonna label it X because that's what it's going to be. I'm going to duplicate that, and now this will be the pan point, and this will be the Y control. And if I duplicate it one more time, and I'm using Control D by the way to do that, then I and then F2 to change the name of it. I will make this the Z axis for it. Okay, so now if I parent the camera to the Z, I parent the Z to the Y and I parent the Y to the X, then I have complete control over these different things. So the X, I will move the X up and down. The Y, I would adjust the Y side to side. Okay, and the Z, I can adjust the Z rotation this way. And I have three different ways of moving my camera 
independently of each other. Okay, now if I wanted to add one more point, I could do that. And again, it would be a 3D point, and I might call that position point. And I would go ahead and uh, parent my tilt to the position point. That way I could actually slide the camera around in three-dimensional space. If I were to take a look at this on the perspective, uh, look, you can see that I have my camera here. I can move this around in three-dimensional space, right, this way. Or I can go ahead and tilt. This is on the X, right? I can pan on the Y, and I can um, rotate on the Z as well, giving me th full control over all three uh, dimensions of the camera, being able to create some beautiful and wonderful camera pan or shots while uh, I have the Starfield background going and it looks wonderful. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday and Monday, and thanks for your support.